Hey guys, I'm Sarbhi Srivastava with Venture Philly Group and welcome back to our channel. I would like to thank our sponsors Crown Mortgage for this video where we dive into a fascinating history lesson on our beautiful city. No city pays greater tribute to its founding father than Philly does. When William Penn was planning the city of Philadelphia in the 17th century, he envisioned a green country town full of public spaces. Penn's grid system of streets and blocks featured a public square in each of its four quadrants and a fifth square in the center of the town, aptly named Center Square. We now have Logan Square to the northwest, Franklin Square to the northeast, Rittenhouse Square to the southwest, Washington Square to the southeast, and of course, the Center Square was renamed Penn Square. What Penn planned centuries ago continues to define Philadelphia's public realm today, showcasing a lasting legacy of thoughtful city planning. Here we are in one of the most prestigious addresses in Philadelphia, Rittenhouse Square. It holds a very fascinating and enriched history, making it one of the most visited squares in the city. Originally named Southwest Square, it was later dedicated to David Rittenhouse, an esteemed astronomer and inventor who also played a vital role in early American politics, serving as Pennsylvania's treasurer in 1777 during its newly acquired independence. Despite Philadelphia's age, the area surrounding Rittenhouse Square remained largely undeveloped for over a century, a stark contrast to the other four public squares. Finally, in the mid-19th century, the city expanded significantly, leading to the sudden construction of new buildings around the square, making it one of the most desired residential areas in Philadelphia. Today, Rittenhouse Square is adorned with elegant Victorian mansions, serving as a testament to the prosperity that defines the neighborhood. Alongside these gorgeous homes, the square boasts some of the nation's finest restaurants, such as Park, The Love, The Dandelion, and so many more. Every Saturday, the neighborhood hosts popular farmer's market that draws residents from all corners of the city. The square is surrounded by upscale condo buildings like the Laurel, Wanamaker House, and Westbury Apartments, adding a touch of luxury to the vibrant community. Now we're at Logan Square, which was originally the Northwest Square and was renamed in 1825 after James Logan, William Penn's secretary. In the early 20th century, a traffic circle was created in the middle of Logan Square as part of the development of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Since then, Logan Square has also been known as Logan Circle, though strictly speaking, the latter term refers specifically to the traffic circle. The Swan Fountain Memorial, crafted by the Philadelphia Fountain Society, graces the center of Logan Circle in honor of its late president and founder, Dr. Wilson Swan. Logan Square is surrounded by noteworthy institutions, all housed in elegant structures. The oldest building and most impressive landmark bordering the square is the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul. Opposite the cathedral, on the west side of Logan Square, sits an equally grand and even more imposing building that is home to the Franklin Institute, the oldest science museum in North America. On the eastern side sits the Free Library of Philadelphia, present since 1927, and to the south is the Academy of Natural Sciences, a natural history museum. The Benjamin Franklin Parkway is one of my favorite places to take a stroll and just enjoy the view, no matter where I look. This historic square is not only a hub of significant institutions, but also a showcase of architectural and cultural richness, making it a captivating focal point in Philadelphia. A five minute walk from the square are Assembly Rooftop Lounge and Victory Brewing Company, great rooftop bars and the two places, in my opinion, that do justice to the view of Logan Square all the way to the museum on Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Over the years, Franklin Square has undergone a fascinating transformation, evolving from a cattle pasture and horse cattle market to a storage facility for gunpowder and a drill and parade ground during the War of 1812. In the early 1800s, the south side of Franklin Square, formerly known as Sassafras Street, was a hotspot for horse races, leading the city to aptly name it Race Street. Adding to the historical charm, the square features a fountain installed in 1837, which is believed to be the oldest among the city's five squares. The landmark fountain provides a focal point for visitors to enjoy choreographed light and sound shows. Franklin Square has become an iconic destination with attractions like Parks Liberty Carousel and Philly Mini Golf. The end of year holiday festival treats guests to the dazzling electric spectacle holiday light show while the annual springtime Chinese Lantern Festival adds a glowing touch to the historic park. Directly across from the square you'll find the modern Metro Club condos and just a few blocks away lies the bustling Chinatown. On the other side, the Delaware River, Ray Street Pier, and the iconic Benjamin Franklin Bridge graze the area with the I-676 highway providing convenient connectivity. 
Named after the nation's first president, George Washington, this square is nestled in Society Hill. Initially used as a grazing pasture and potter's field, it held significance as a site for both celebration and mourning within Philadelphia's African-American community until 1794. Over the years, it transformed into a burial site for Revolutionary War soldiers and victims of the 1793 yellow fever epidemic. In 1954, the Washington Square Planning Committee decided to alter the original plan for a monument to Washington. Instead, they chose to create a tribute to all soldiers and sailors of the war, giving rise to the tomb of the unknown Revolutionary War soldier. This monument, adorned with an eternal flame, stands as a profound commemoration of the bravery of those who fought. The bronze statue of Washington at the tomb is a replica of a marble sculpture located in the Virginia State Capitol in Richmond, the only life-size statue of Washington done from life. The evolution of the square continued with the installation of a public walk and a tree planting program in 1815, shaping it into the scenic park with over 60 species of trees that is the Southeast Square or Washington Square we know today. Surrounded by various office buildings, including ours right there, with this captivating view of the park, the neighborhood predominantly features some of the most historic homes in the entire country, making it sought after by many residents. Welcome to Penn Square, which is now the iconic site of City Hall and is considered the heart of Philadelphia. It is the only one of the original squares that is no longer a public space. Designed with inspiration from a medieval European castle, City Hall remains one of the world's largest municipal buildings and holds the distinction of being the tallest freestanding masonry structure on the planet. Some lesser known but fascinating facts about this place include that the clock faces on the City Hall Tower each 26 feet in diameter are actually larger than the clock face on London's Big Ben. And with 750 rooms and 14.5 acres of floor space, City Hall itself is bigger than the U.S. Capitol. Penn Square has become a cherished destination for Philadelphians, with Dilworth Park and Love Park enhancing its appeal. Dilworth Park offers roller skating and interactive fountains in summer and ice skating and the Rothman Cabin in winter. Love Park hosts the Christmas Village and pop-up markets, further contributing to the vibrant atmosphere of this square. Philadelphia continues to fascinate me with history hidden everywhere I go. We explored a lot today and if you want to learn more, there are some links in the description along with homes currently on the market around these squares. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to continue being blown away by our historic city of brotherly love. Thanks for watching.